Today's video is brought to you by Ewin Racing, the best source for gaming chairs and desks for those long gaming sessions. We have a playlist of our Ewin chair and desk videos linked in the video description below. Save 30% off of everything using the discount code TECHDEALS. More details at the end of the video. We have a question about mining on an RX 5700 and should he be concerned about his video card when mining? It is. He just started mining with an RX 5700 and he wants to know if he should be concerned with how long he mines on the card. The temperatures are running at 56, 58C, uh, 66C junction temp and 1900 RPM consistently. First of all, those are not hot temperatures. Those are rather cool temperatures, to be completely honest. Uh, if they were 90C, it's warm. You need better airflow in your case. Uh, 58 on the core and 66. I mean, you could be 75. I wouldn't be worried about it. That's trivial. Now, I know some people are going to say, but you're wearing your fans out and temperature over time damages cards and you're doing something to the card, man. Yeah, it's called gaming. Do you think your video card doesn't work when you game? I've seen this time and time again where people go, oh, that card's been mined on for a year. Oh, well, it's worn out. And if it was gamed on for a year, you think it would be worse? Now, it's true that you can mine 24-7, and you certainly don't game 24-7. No, you can't. You, well, you can try. Oh, you can try. 24-hour Twitch live stream, here we here come. Here we go. Oh. Uh, now, that being said, it's true that running continuously does certainly at a high temperature put some wear, but I would like to point out something. Getting up to a warm temperature, so long as it's not too hot, and staying there versus hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, may actually be better for the card. Because if you're running at 58 to 66 degrees C, which is really not that hot for a, for a GPU chip, and you stay there, then all the components kind of heat up and they all kind of get to an equi equilibrium, equilibrium and they stay. If you game... You're and you get hot, and then you game for four hours, and then you turn it off, and everything cools. All the parts contract. All the parts expand. If you do that, if you game for four hours a day and then leave your card off for four hours a day, you might be doing more wear to your card doing that. It's the reason why taxis get 300,000 miles without trouble, Ooh, even just, American cars. They just stay on. The engines never turn off. And they change the oil constantly, and they just, they, they're constantly being used, and so they last forever. Here's another thing I would like to point out. Bright screen warning for those of you in dark mode. This is the nice hash calculator, AMD RX 5700 with a 10 cent per kilowatt hour electricity charge. Now that's gonna vary depending upon your electricity cost. But right now, as we're recording this at the beginning of February, 2021, your approximate income after power consumption is $6.24 sense at the time of filming at the time of filming with where bitcoin is right now now a little bit of math for you guys the rx 5700 originally cost about 350 dollars. now i don't know what you paid for but if it's your personal gaming card and you bought it prior to the launch of the new cards you might have paid less you might have paid 300 but let's say you paid 350 for it if you paid 350 dollars for that card and it's currently making over six dollars after power consumption let's just take six dollars Divided by six, you've paid for the card in two months. What you paid for the card, you've got back in 58 days. Now your card is free. Let's say you mine on it for a year and then it just rolls over, turns turtle, dies, and is never recovered. Okay. You made $2,190 on your 350. Who freaking cares? At these prices, all the fuss. Now, if mining values change, if cryptocurrency goes down, if, if, if the revenue changes, that, that could alter it. But at these prices, we are so far beyond who cares. In fact, let me quote my, 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 uh, one of my favorite movie review channels, um, Cinema Wins. I can't say who cares hard enough because you need to get all the way off my back about that. Mining is super easy, barely an inconvenience. <laughs> In any making money with crypto is tight. tight. Yes, you can tell who we're fans of. If you're paying for your card 
in, in two months. Whatever. I, you think you're going to ruin it in two months? Come on. Uh, this is... This is free money laying on the ground. Pick it up. That's like saying you walk around in your shoes and you don't want them to wear out. Of course they're going to wear out at some point. That's what your shoes are for. That's what your shoes are for. Make you, make money with your GPU while you've got it. If you got paid 10 cents for every step you took, I assure you, you'd yeah, make more money. There'd than be a lot more skinnier people. <laughs> Ooh. Am I paying you to walk now? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta pay me more than that, honey. <laughs> Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Ewin Racing has a wide selection of chairs to fit all shapes and sizes of gamers, ranging from petite to cuddly. They have something for every type of gamer. Not just sizes, but colors and material options as well, including red, blue, purple, pink, orange, and more, plus cloth and leather choices. We have over half a dozen chair and desk videos in a playlist down in the video description below. We also have a very special offer just for Tech Deals viewers. Save 30% off of everything using discount code Tech Deals using our link in the video description. We have used Ewin gaming chairs for three years in our office, sitting on them for up to eight hour marathon live streams. They are very comfortable and we are happy to work with Ewin to bring you this special discount and recommend Ewin for all of your gaming chair and desk needs.